Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a toy and book haul. I have two little boys, one is called Toby, he is two years old and the other Rupert is four and um, yeah I have recently bought them a few books and toys. I think it'd be nice to show them to you in a video. Okay so first up are these really great side sorting eggs by Yellow Door Education. I love these, they are so cute. They come in a little range of colours, they're all quite natural. And obviously there's the different sizes from big to smallest and they're obviously all different weights as well so you can use those in so many different ways you could get your child to weigh them and do kind of like a sort of math thing with them uh, you can get them to size sort them and also there's the colors they're just so cute and tactile they also are really nice for sensory play um, you can put them in um, a sensory bin because they're obviously waterproof they are just gorgeous I love these so much and they have been such a hit with both the boys and they were perfect for Easter time when we particularly play with them quite a lot um, and yeah I highly recommend them I love everything from Yellow Door they're really um, sort of environmental and really good quality chunky toys that will last forever I also got the boys this really fun bear puzzle this is by the brand Big Jigs I believe yeah and it is you've probably seen this before they're quite popular they're like these little bare faces and they come with different outfits that you can put together and shoes and then this is the board that you put them in so there's a mummy and a daddy and a little girl and a little boy bear and they're really cute it's quite a nice little puzzle for children to look at different emotions because the bears all have different uh, facial expressions i'm just going to put together one of the bears for you and it is actually takes up quite a lot of time like sorting through all the different outfits um, and it's quite a fun little thing for kids to do so there's the little girl there and yeah it's really cute it's a really nice fun puzzle for children who um, are quite good at puzzles because it is quite confusing between you know the girl and the boy all have different shapes and the mummy and the daddy have different you know the sh the feet shape and the face shape and everything is different so i mean it's quite a nice um complicated puzzle for a slightly older um toddler or child so we love that that is super cute um i as you know i'm not a huge fan of plastic toys and i do avoid them wherever possible and i'm pretty sure like most of our toys are wooden apart from the odd thing that we've been gifted like the old plastic tractor which my boys do love in fairness but i don't ever really buy things like that but I did give in and buy a couple of plastic toys this month because I wanted to have a few things that would help with gross motor skills. And the first thing I got were these bristle blocks. Now I remember these from when I was a child and they are really good fun. They are um, really easy to put together because obviously they've got the bristles and it comes with like wheels and all sorts of things like that. And actually they are really good fun. Sorry, there's a hair on that, it's disgusting. <laughs> Um, they're really really good fun and the boys have really enjoyed them and I I gave in just because I knew they were going to help with those m hand muscles especially for Rupert who you know his gross motor skills aren't as good as most children his age so I thought these would be really useful for him and they have actually have been quite a good investment I can't imagine that we'll buy any more than that and of course you know we'll always donate those on when we're done with them so don't feel too guilty about it but yeah I do try and avoid plastic where I can but I do think the bristle blocks are great if you do have a child that needs to really use their hands a lot and build up that uh, control and muscle development. Another one I got on the same basis were these squidge fun little suckers toys and basically they look like something you'd find in a bathroom you know, they have those sort of suckers and they're all different shapes and you can connect them together um, and they will stick to any like flat surface um, a window or anything like that and they are really quite addictive you can create all different shapes um, anything that you want and they are so much fun and then you can pull them apart and they make a great noise um, and I do think this is a really fun toy for children and it you know it teaches them all the different building skills and yeah they are really popular apparently it does say ages three plus but my two-year-old thinks these are really cool too and I got a tub of 24 um, and it comes with like a good range of different types 
And yeah, they're really, really good fun. I do highly recommend them. They'd be a great gift for any child that again needs help with like motor skills. I specifically purchased those for Rupert to help him like build up his muscles and to help him like connect and build things together, which he doesn't naturally like to do. He's definitely more of a bookworm than he is like a constructor kind of child but he has loved those and what I do is I tend to stick them onto the radiator and get him to like pull them off and stick them together and they've been really good fun. So moving on to books, I have a ton of books. I have curled them down a little bit because there was just too many which is terrifying because I'm looking at the pile right now and I realize I have got a book ad addiction. Um, but um, I discovered a website called 66 Book Club or something, I'll link it below. Um, and here in the UK it's basically like discounted books so obviously I went on to that and it was awful because I wanted everything and it was addictive so I haven't visited that site since because it was just too easy to spend money to be honest but I did pick up some really good books that I had actually had my eye on for a while um, the first one was the Walker Let's Walker First Experiences I really like this series um, they're really basic but great for toddlers. They've got really nice chunky pages and I love the descriptive simple language in it and the boys love me to read th these books. I don't know what it is about the storyline but it really appeals to them. And I've got a few of them from this company. I got the Seaside, I got the Farm and I got, I can't find the other one, but the other one is the nursery one. And I love the farm one in particular. We'd got this from the library before. And yeah, it's really, really cute. I like that it's got rounded corners and the pages are quite thick. So they can read them on their own. And like I said, the language is actually quite appealing to children. It's lots of like squelching and descriptive language and actually quite good. So a simple, cute little uh, series for young toddlers. And I do recommend it. It's the Walker First Experience. Let's go. Um, really, really good. Now, Rupert loves yoga. He is obsessed with yoga and Toby's getting quite into it too. And I saw this book was up on that discount website and I thought I would just grab it. It's the DK Yoga for Kids by Susanna Hoffman. And we have a board book yoga, um, but we have a board book yoga book, which is brilliant. But this one's a little bit more detailed and um, it gives you all the different poses. And I just thought this would be a nice addition to the library as the kids get bigger. And yeah, I also like the fact that this series is really diverse. It shows children of all different colour and also children with disabilities as well, which is really, really fantastic. So I really recommend this. We also picked up the Paul Clay sticker book. This was again on the discount website. This one I'm saving for when we do a Paul Clay, um, or Paul Clee, shall I say? Um, art study. Um, so it has these lovely um, paintings here. They're so gorgeous. And then there's a sticker section here. So a plain bit with bits missing. And then it includes the stickers in the back. So there's loads of stickers and there's absolutely loads of these artworks in it. And so a great way of discovering the artist and then having a fun sticker project. Um, I really like this. Um, it's a really good series. I must look up on the website and see if there's any more. Um, available or if they're all out of print I'm not sure if I can find a link to these books on Amazon I definitely will I'll link them below but yeah this is fantastic and even if you don't want to do the sticker um, activity you could even just cut out the artworks and then you'd have a nice like um, good quality print of the artworks for display um, and for study um, I also picked up from the same website the Britta Teckentrup mole star and i had never seen this before but i'm a big fan of britta track and trap we have a lot of her books but this one is so sweet it's a lovely lovely story of this mole who lives underground it's all dark and he sees the stars and he really really wants the stars and he ends up wishing on a star and all these ladders appear and he pulls all the stars into his underground tunnels and all the other animals are really sad because it's dark and obviously at the end, at the end, the mole learns his lesson and he puts all the stars back with the help of his friends. And it's an absolutely charming story. The illustrations are gorgeous as you would expect. And I think this would make a great read for winter or autumn when, you know, the focus is a little bit more on the night sky and darkness. I think this is from the same website. I picked up Little Grey Rabbit's Valentine by Alison Utterly. Um, I love the Little Grey Rabbit stories. They really bring me back to my own childhood 
and um, yeah, when I saw this was on discount, I obviously grabbed it because I thought I would save this up for February. It's so sweet and actually the storyline is quite long, so it makes a fantastic read aloud book or a book that you could um, let your child read on their own when they get bigger. So another book that I got is James Matthews, Ella Bella, Ballerina and The Magic Toy Shop. There's a whole series of these stories where they have this little ballerina called Ella Bella and she goes on an adventure and discovers all the different ballets. And this one is really sweet, it's about a magic toy shop. The illustrations are gorgeous. And even though I've got boys, I still love sharing slightly girly books like this with them. We love Angelina Ballerina, and I know they're gonna love this as well. Um, I'm keeping this until, um, I don't know when I'm gonna share this with them, but when I feel like the time is right, we'll probably study this ballet and I'll pull this book out. Books, um, Pig in the Pond by Martin Waddle. Um, this is so cute. It's about this pig who is very, very hot because it's summer and splashes into the pond and all the animals go and tell the farmer and he ends up splashing in the pond as well. Really, really cute, great book for summer and for any child that loves farms and farm animals. The book I picked up from the discount website is Simon James's The Wild Woods. And this one is about Jess who goes for a walk with her granddad and she makes friends with a squirrel and she wants to keep him but her granddad's not so sure. And basically it just takes you through the wood as she chases the squirrel and the grandfather follows along. It's very sweet, very simple story. And yeah, I got it at a really good price, which was great. Okay, so another lovely book is the science story book about forces, and it's Bell Bird Builds a Nest by Martin Jenkins. I love the Walker science story book series. There's loads in that series, and they're all fantastic. And this one is all about forces and birds making nests. So a great one for spring. Lovely, simple cut-out illustrations. Very, very sweet. And there's some other ones that are in the same series. We also picked up the squirrel one, but I, I don't know where that's gone. Um, and I do have my eye on this one. It looks fantastic. Um, when I had a look inside it on Amazon, it looked really good. But yeah, lovely series to collect. The one from the discount website is this Harry McClary story. It's the show business one by Lindsay Lindley Dodd. I love the Harry McClary books. They've got really good, fun rhyme to them and it follows the story of this naughty little dog called Harry McClary um, from Donaldson's Dairy and he visits a cat show and gets into all sorts of trouble but ends up winning a prize for being the scruffiest um, cat even though he's a dog. <laughs> very very cute and a really nice one that I find that most children really enjoy that Harry McClary series. The final thing I got off the discount website was a really good find and it was a box of these mini masters. Um, this is the mini French masters with Surratt, Renoir, Roseau and Gauguin and I'm a huge fan of these. We've got a few of these already and um, there's the Gauguin one and what it has are these lovely chunky pages and it shows you a range of work from the artist and then there's a little bit of descriptive language beside it and um, it's just a great way of doing art study with young children. I have already had the I already have the Matisse one, and we did actually buy the Quiet Time with Cassette this year as well. This not this year, sorry, this month. And these are gorgeous. They're really dreamy um, paintings of usually mother and child. Very very sweet. Yeah lovely so I've got quite a nice little um, quantity of these books now and they are just gorgeous and a really favorite way of ours to do a bit of easy art study introduce an artist show gorgeous colors and textures and subject matter with uh, my children so that is all the books I got from the discount website and to be honest there were a few more but I can't find them my bookcase is such a mess at the moment I need to tidy it up for sure um, and talking about messes I did actually have um, a magazine to show you but I couldn't find it I bought two of these year in a day magazines I bought the eggs birds and nests but I also bought the sea themed one but I can't for the life of me find it so I do need to do a clean up because I can't bear the thought that I've misplaced that um, so this magazine is a Waldorf inspired magazine it's printed in the UK and the website is a yearinaday.co.uk 
and it's if this was actually issue one you can buy all the back issues on the website and also on conscious craft and it has stories in it um i'll try and get this nice and close up for you it's got lots of stories um information about um a theme so this is a story of the golden goose um it has sort of like ideas about the story as well so sort of questions and things like that um uh, ideas for making story stones, how to draw a goose, um, G is for goose, so a little bit of phonics there, sensory writing, um, modelling ideas, salt dough recipes, uh, egg box math, so it's almost like a mini curriculum for children, a lot of eggs, but um, all based on a theme, further painting and writing, nest building, identify a bird nest, so much in one magazine and I love the really gentle illustrations, they're so charming, bird bingo, and um, really really nice, a great um, little booklet or magazine for any child that's interested in nature. I keep meaning to subscribe to this magazine actually because it's so gorgeous. Um, my children are not the right age for this at all yet, but um, it's something which I think would work really well for like six, maybe age six, or younger if your child's able for it. But for us, I think I'll have to wait another couple of years. Um, but yes, it's so lovely. I'm just collecting them and enjoying them for myself at the moment. But they are such a clever idea and beautifully done. The nature-based book that we got was Grow, Forage and Make by Alice Fowler. I actually think I showed you this in one of my to-be-read piles, um, but it's so beautiful. There are so many activities in this book and they're all based around the garden and it is incredible. I highly recommend it. And actually there's a great range of diversity in this. There are children of all different shapes, sizes and colours in this and abilities which are great to see. Um, nice illustration of a little girl in a wheelchair. Um, yeah really well done so well done and so gorgeous like all the ideas in this are amazing it is um definitely a book that every parent should own it's a bit of a random one but it's a lovely book nonetheless it's called no hitting by karen katz now i've got two little boys and they have just discovered that they can hit each other and it is really upsetting to me because obviously i don't want them to do that so i bought this book to help them understand that hands are not for hitting <laughs> and um, I really recommend it actually it's really great because it shows you um, you know for example you know the child that's having a bit of a tantrum and then something that they can do which is more productive and um, so kind of ideas to self-regulate I suppose and I really like that I think that's um, very clever and there's even some stickers on the back which I will pull out and let the boys play with at some point and um, so a lovely book by Karen Katz um, I always like her books, I think they're really nicely done and the illustrations are great. This month we went through a bit of a theme of search and find books. Rupert loves search and find books and I did a bit of research and I found some really fantastic ones. The first ones I got him were these My Big Wimmel books and they're really nice and chunky, you can see them in contrast to my hand. This is the Animals Around the World and they have these really fantastic illustrations with tons of things that you can find on each page as the C1 um, and they are hardback so really really chunky and um, like a really fun where's Wally oh, there's one more page at the back and there's quite a few in this series I also got the on the farm one um, Toby ripped a bit of the paper off the side he's going through a phase of enjoying doing that so uh, Apologies for that, but the farm one is also really fun. It's a bit like an urban farm with all these different things that are going on, lots of machines. So if you have a child who loves farms, this would be a great one to build vocabulary and to just sit together and explore all the images. We also got the uh, All Around Bustletown Spring. Again, this is huge. You can buy mini editions of these as well. And these are so cool. I love the Bustle Town series. So you get a really good idea of all the things that are inside buildings and lots of activities that are going on. It's very, very cute. And has been so well loved already that 
I mean, the spine is almost falling apart because the boys have both been looking at this obsessively since we bought it. And then finally, I got the most beautiful book. I know you are all going to want to go get this if you haven't got it already, because it is exquisite. It's Brown Bear Wood. If you go down to the woods today, more than a hundred things to find. Again, it's a lovely big book. And this is one that will definitely be coming out in autumn a lot. Um, so it, each page shows you inside this bear's world. So home sweet home. And then at the bottom, it gives you ideas of things to find. And the illustrations are really, really gorgeous. Um, so this one is school days. Um, Bunny's birthday. This, yeah, it's so lovely. If you like the um, Brambly Hedge series, you'll just love this. There are so many pages in this as well. And they're not board cut pages, they are all paper pages, so you need to be a little bit careful with the younger toddlers. Um, but yeah, so beautiful. And I, yeah, I love the fact that they have like a little story here and then a list of things to find on each page. And then the beautiful illustration. And I've just shown you just a few of the pages. There are many, many more in the book, um, but highly recommend it. I'll link it below. Um, I imagine that most of you will want to get a copy because it is amazing. It's definitely my favorite book that I have from the haul. It is so gorgeous um, and would make a beautiful gift as well because it has this lovely like foil effect um, all over it. So very, very lovely. Um, and then finally, I got myself a couple of books. I got myself this uh, book by Emily Cook. It's called A Literary Education, Adapting Charlotte Mason for Modern Secular Homeschooling. Um, I really enjoyed this. It brings you through the whole concept of Charlotte Mason from a secular viewpoint. And there's loads of ideas on Charlotte Mason and how you can integrate that into like a homeschooling for your family and I think it was very very interesting I've made some uh, little marks as I've gone through it and I really didn't know a lot about Charlotte Mason so this was the perfect introduction for me um, and yeah it got me quite excited about it I love the idea of laying a feast for the children um, with books and amazing inspiring um, resources so a lovely book to read if you're interested in homeschooling and then finally I got my Blossom and Root Early Years Volume 1 printed out this is a curriculum for preschoolers, the recommended ages age two to four, so perfect for my boys. And um, this is a really nice, easy curriculum, I think. The curriculum is broken down into weeks. It's very easy to use. I don't use this as like a set curriculum, but I do like to dip in and out of this when we're feeling a bit bored or I need to entertain the children. Um, so for example, here's week 11, and it gives you a nature study idea about clouds. Then there's um, science and maths. So looking at shapes and colours and making an animal train. Um, and then there's a bit of art study, um, a bit of drama, some music ideas, um, a kindness and connecting activity. Then a book to read aloud together with some ideas to kind of make it more into a study. And then a recipe for the week as well. So a really nice way of just you know, making sure that you're doing a bit of reading, a bit of cooking, um, a bit of sensory and things like that with your children and a really nice, very affordable curriculum um, for those early years for preschool age. Video. Uh, before I wrap up, I just want to say, if you do want to support the channel, please head over to patreon.com forward slash Becky O'Cole and consider joining our patron community. It's a great way of supporting the channel, but also accessing fantastic bonuses. Each month I do a live Zoom chat where we discuss things from books, natural living, slow living, and we plan the month ahead. And also I have a vlog every month where I sort of show you more behind the scenes, day in the lifestyle videos. Um, and there's also loads of other bonuses and you can watch all the old videos and listen to all the old chats and there's just tons to get through. So if that sounds good to you, head over to patreon.com forward slash Becky O'Cole and join the community there. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and of course leave me a comment. Um, I love reading comments and um, yeah, have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.